After 24 years on the police force, his face may be recognizable to Nassau County residents, but now Richard Furboder is on the wrong side of the law, and his attorney is offering no explanation. I said no comment at this time. It was near the monuments of Eisenhower Park in East Meadow, not far from the police officer's home, when off-duty, it is alleged, he began exposing himself to women. The first report came in June, the next in September, but the public was not notified until his arrest last week. I can't answer why he did what he did. I can only tell you this. It's disgusting. He don't belong to be a police officer. His shield will be taken is taken from him. That shield will be never worn by another police officer in this county. It'll be melted down and thrown into the garbage. We are concealing the faces of the two victims who tell me they were traumatized by the suspect's aggressive behavior. You're happy he was arrested? Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, more potential, you know, but I'm being and the lady walked here. Another said, I did not get a good look at his face. I was so startled when he unzipped his pants. The women who helped clean the county park reported public lewdness near the JFK Memorial, adjacent to the driving range, and the bathrooms near Field 4. A suspect circled the area in his red SUV, they said. This employee eventually was able to jot down the license plate, leading them to Officer Furboder. He drove a red SUV to court. It makes a bad rep for the cops around here. Who are mostly all exactly, green. Exactly, exactly. So. Oh, it's, it's a shame. Officer Forboder, arrested October 3rd, retired from the force three days later. Park goers are miffed. Maybe they can up their park security, but it was a cop, so you would think that they would be safe in this environment. For voters, hefty severance pay is being withheld by Nassau PD pending outcome of a criminal investigation. Additional formal inquiries are underway, including one by internal affairs. From Eisenhower Park on Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Now, the officer may still be entitled to a big state pension after all of this. Any other victims are urged to come forward. Now the dose of 